This is a review for the Roborock Curevo S. The Curevo S is currently the cheapest Curevo you can buy. For about $100 more, the Curevo Plus adds an extendable mop. For about $200 more, the Curevo Pro adds an extendable mop and hot water mop washing. And for several hundred dollars more, the Curevo Max V and the Curevo Master add several additional premium features on top of that. The bottom line is that the Curevo S keeps basic Curevo functionality. It simply removes certain premium features to save costs. This makes it a highly affordable mid-range option. Let's take a look at how it performed in our tests. The Curevo S's airflow was measured at 17 CFM. This is a slightly above average result. Its suction was measured at 0.19 kPa. This is a below average result. Like most other Curevos, the Curevo S uses a single all rubber brush roll to agitate surfaces. It uses a single oversized side brush to pull debris from the perimeter of the robot into the path of its brush roll. With this design, it performed just as well as other Curevos and better than most competitors from other brands in our carpet stress test. It picks up more debris than most competitors from other brands in a single pass and gets an almost perfect clean after a second pass. In our carpet deep clean test, it picked up five grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. This was on default power. On maximum power, it picked up eight grams of debris in the same test. Its default result is slightly below average. Its maximum power result is slightly above average. Moving on to our heart floor stress test, the Curevo S once again matches other Curevos and exceeds the performance of most competitors from other brands in this test. It picks up more debris than most competitors from other brands after a single pass and gets a better clean overall than most competitors after multiple passes. The Curevo S also performed very well cleaning edges. It gets sufficiently close to the edge to pick up debris lying along the edge very effectively. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the Curevo S picked up very little debris on default power and only partially cleaned the crevice on maximum power. These are still better results than those of most competitors from other brands though, which performed noticeably worse on default and maximum power in this test. In our human hair pickup test, the Curevo S picked up all of the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. This is still an average result for this test though. The Curevo S performed very well in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. Moving on to mopping, the Curevo S has two rotating mopping pads, just like every other Curevo on the market. But it's the only Curevo that doesn't have this mechanism to extend its mop to the perimeter of the robot. And unfortunately, this made a big difference in our testing. In our sticky stain test, the Curevo S cleans the top stain and the corner stain much worse than the Curevo Master, only because it lacks this extendable mop. It performed just about as well as the Master in our dried on stain test, because this test doesn't place any stains against edges. So for staining out in the open, not against edges, you can expect similar performance between the Curevo S and higher tier Curevos. For staining along edges and in corners, higher tier models definitely provide better performance. Mop lifting is another area in which we see the S perform just as well as the Master. Both models can lift their mops 10 millimeters off the ground, and the S model does it just as well as the Master according to our testing. Moving on to navigation, we tested the Curevo S's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a clutter room. In our empty room testing, we see it pathing in a very efficient row by row cleaning pattern to start the run. It's only an efficiency is that it bounces off of the left edge a few times midway through the run. It ends the run pathing in a perpendicular cleaning pattern so that it ends up approaching all of the debris in the room from two perpendicular angles. This ensures the highest probability of it being able to pick up especially stubborn debris. It gets excellent coverage in this test as well. In our clutter room testing, we evaluate how well the robot can path around larger obstacles. And here the Curevo S again does very well. It glides around all of the obstacles in the room without issue and cleans in both vertical and horizontal rows in the few open areas of the room. Here, we see the only inefficiency near the end of the run. It pads into different corners of the room a few more times than it needs to before returning to its docking station. Its pathing efficiency overall though is very good. It also gets good complete coverage in this test as well. The Curevo S uses a top-mounted laser to navigate around larger obstacles like chair and table legs and a 3D structured light system mounted to the front of the robot to detect and avoid smaller obstacles like shoes and pedways. Unfortunately, this system doesn't work very well according to our testing. 
In this first trial, the Kirivo S properly avoids the larger pedways prop on the left, but runs right over the smaller prop on the right. It pads around the shoe, but moves it in the process. It runs into, but then tries to pad around the sock. It eventually runs into the power cord, and at one point completely runs over the sock. The only obstacle it completely avoids is the large pedways prop in the bottom left. In the second trial, we see very similar results, though it runs right over the sock much sooner. We reset the test with the sock removed, but ended it shortly after. For comparison, the Kirivo Master adds an RGB camera on top of a 3D structured light system to the front of the robot, and with this addition, was able to detect and avoid all of the same obstacles without issue. That being said, the Master is considerably more expensive. The Kirivo S offers limited, but right around average small obstacle detection for a robot at its price point. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the QRevo's runtime, bin volume, and noise output and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the Kirivo S one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The Kirivo S is a very good vacuum. It picks up surface level debris and deep cleans very well on carpet. It picks up debris well on hard floors and it vacuums edges very effectively. It mops very well away from edges, and navigates very precisely and efficiently around larger obstacles and in wide open spaces. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the Kirivo S tangles very easily with longer hair. It also can't mop very well against edges, and it has trouble detecting and completely avoiding many small obstacles according to our testing. When it comes to general recommendations, the Kirivo S compares very favorably to higher priced Kirivos. It picks up surface level debris just as well as the Master, and deep cleans only slightly worse. It mops just as well as the Master, except close to edges, and it navigates just as well as the Master, except around especially small obstacles. So the S is essentially a Master with limitations. If you can live with those limitations, it's an excellent, much more affordable vacuum and mop solution. Compared to robots from other brands, the Kirivo S is the best mid-range option we've tested. It uniquely combines solid vacuuming and mopping performance with industry-leading navigation. Certain competitors can vacuum and mop just as well, or even slightly better, but none can match Roborock's navigation. The Dream L10S Ultra, for example, deep cleans carpet slightly better and mops edges slightly better, but paths much less efficiently and sometimes gets incomplete coverage. The Kirivo S offers exceptional navigation. Combining this with its vacuum and mop performance makes it the best mid-range robot we've tested. See the description of this video for a link to buy this robot and for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.